The desecration of the Second Amendment and Braveheart's struggle to obtain a pistol permit continues. On February 18, 2010, Braveheart resubmitted an application for a pistol permit for the second time with the Department of Public Safety. On that day, uh, Public Safety Officer Detective Whiting did not want to accept his application for processing and gave him a very difficult time with it. But when his supervisor heard what was going on, he told Detective Whiting he had to accept it. But it wasn't a smooth process, by any means. On May 25th of 2010, Braveheart received a denial letter from Judge Albert Lorenzo for a full carry pistol permit. His reason was that he did not see justification at that point in time, despite the fact that he was and is still receiving documented death threats on his life. Braveheart went to the local police department to file a formal complaint. In addition to the death threats, he submitted a four-page summation in support of a full carry permit. As we all know, pistols and revolvers are designed in essence to protect lives while outside one's home or place of business. And if receiving death, uh, threats of death to one's life is not justification for a full carry, then what is? Because of his denial, Judge Albert Lorenzo is putting Braveheart and his family's lives directly in harm's way with virtually no way to defend himself and his family outside his home. Judge Lorenzo's action in this matter is unconscionable, to say the very least. What will he do or say if something happens? I wonder. Consequently, Braveheart asked Judge Lorenzo if he would be willing to issue a restricted permit shortly thereafter. No reply. He then wrote him again a week or so later. Still no reply. He submitted additional documentation and still for the third time. Still no reply from Judge Lorenzo. As we all know, late in June, the U.S. Supreme Court rendered its decision regarding the Otis McDonald versus the City of Chicago case. Its ruling was that state and local governments cannot deny an individual a pistol permit who is law-abiding, meaning no felony or domestic violence convictions or been institutionalized in a mental hospital against their will. Needless to say, Braveheart has no issues with criminal records or been in a mental hospital or has any issues. On August 1st of this year, Braveheart wrote Judge Lorenzo one last time and he cited the Heller case and also the McDonald case. The following is Judge Lorenzo's re reply. Dear Braveheart, please be advised that I am in receipt of your correspondences dated June 7th and 16th of 2010. Please be further advised that on May 24th, 2010, I denied your application for a full carry permit and I adhere to that decision. There is no application presently pending before this court and this is my final correspondence regarding with respect to this matter. Very truly yours, very truly yours, what a kind and considerate man, Albert Lorenzo. Pretty poignant letter. No case law was cited, no detailed explanation. And according to New York State law, a licensing officer is supposed to give notice to an applicant that his or her application is going to be denied and for what reasons, so he or she has a chance to elaborate. Of course, none of the licensing officers I know do this in Westchester County. For those that don't know, Braveheart produced eight videos on YouTube discussing the gross injustices of licensing officers regarding pistol permit matters in Westchester County. In particular, judge, Judges Jeffrey A. Cohen and Susan Kakesi. Everything mentioned was factual. Judge Lorenzo was informed of those videos, and apparently there is a very distinct correlation between those videos and his curt decision in our opinion. You can see uh, the videos and decide for yourself. Just type in those judges' names, and you'll see. Once again, Judge Jeffrey A. Cohen and Judge Susan Kakesi. C-A-C-A-C-E. Um, you can see the videos and decide for yourself. It, make your own decision. It was payback time for Braveheart for speaking out against his fellow judges even though we still have the First Amendment which guarantees freedom of speech to this day in most judges' eyes. Apparently those, these licensing officers would like to suppress this freedom along with the Second Amendment for which our founding fathers fought so hard so we could have these God-given rights. These rights were given by God, not by man. We all know that judges are supposed to be unbiased, without prejudice, favoritism, and so on. They are not supposed to subscribe to the practices of cronyism as well, but they do, apparently. 
Judge Albert Lorenzo apparently also has a bitter vendetta against Braveheart. How can he possibly deny any permit whatsoever in light of the victorious outcome of the McDonald case? Who can possibly deny an individual the right to protect his life and his family's when he is receiving death threats? Judges and people of authority, uh, judges and people of authority should be held to a much higher standard than your average citizen because of the power they wield. They literally can make life and death decisions. Judge Lorenzo's vindictive nature is worse than your average citizen's because he is supposed to rise above that rather than to play into it. That is why they are bestowed the title honorable. Honorable. Um, in our opinion, Judge Lorenzo is the furthest from honorable when it comes to the Second Amendment. He, he knows that he has virtual immunity from legal action against him, so as a result, he did what he did, knowing that there basically would be no re repercussions. Pretty scary behavior coming from a judge. It essentially takes an act of God to have him admonished, which is why he is so brazen with his decision. He's hoping that the ball will stop with his decision. However, the ball was not stopped with it at his decision. He has plenty of options. However, there are Article 78 proceedings which can be filed, and at some point, his decision will be overturned if he goes that route. It may have to go to the Supreme Court level to overturn, but it can be done. Of course, there are other alternatives, such as moving 20 or 40 minutes north in Dutchess or Putnam County, where the Constitution is recognized and respected by licensing officers, including the Second Amendment. There is always Connecticut, too, of course, which is literally like five miles from where he lives. Judge Lorenzo's behavior regarding this matter is despicable, in our opinion. He has no respect for the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution and will not protect an individual, individual's right regarding, regarding it, although it is his job to do so. Braveheart called the judge's, judge's chambers the day he received his denial letter and was told, told by the secretary that Judge Lorenzo grants sit-downs for any matters except pistol permit matters. He must be a member of the ACLU because they believe in all the amendments with the exception of the second. They believe in the first, third, fourth, all the way to the 27th, but the second, in their opinion, is not even there. It's just, uh, whatever, in their opinion. What honorable judge would select which amendments are important and which aren't? They are all vital to the survival of our republic. Anyway, moving forward, there is currently a lawsuit that was filed in the United States District Court in White Plains in mid-July. And it's the Alan Kikowski, Christina Nikolov, and the Second Amendment Foundation versus Je Judges Jeffrey A. Cohen and Susan K. Casey. What a surprise. In the county of Westchester. It asks that the need to show just cause be removed for obtaining a full carry in the county of Westchester. And Alan Gura is spearheading this lawsuit. The same attorney that represented Dick Heller uh, versus DC case. And also... Um, the uh, Otis McDonald case, which, as we all know, was also victorious. Um, thank God for these people. Judges Susan K. Casey, Jeffrey A. Cohen, and Albert Lorenzo are the fur furthest thing from being honorable when it comes to the Second Amendment, in our opinion. Their decisions are callous, to say the least. I recommend you watch my other videos depicting their actions, and then you be the judge. Thanks very much.